Does inventing a popular form of entertainment guarantee a windfall? A question Nancy Giles poses to the man you might call Mr. Karaoke. Meet 78-year-old Daisuke Inoue. He's the guy in the center. And, well, he's got a secret. Back in his younger days, Inoue was a musician who couldn't read music. So, he came up with a truly inventive solution, which is to say, Daisuke Inoue invented the karaoke machine. A regular jukebox is for listening. This would be a jukebox for singing. He introduced his creation at bars across Japan in the early 70s. And today, it's estimated that one-third of the people in Japan sing karaoke. Of course, karaoke, which translates to empty orchestra, is now a global phenomenon. Usually in our lives, we watch the stars through the media. All of us want to be stars ourselves. With a mic in your hand, you can be a star. And if you happen to live in Seattle, Washington, one of the biggest stars of karaoke is this man, Joshua Barron, better known as... The karaoke baron. Yes. How'd you get that name? So people used to always say, you're the king of karaoke. And I'm like, I'm not the king of karaoke. I'm not even the prince of karaoke. <laughs> My last name is Baron. So I'm like, if anything, I'm the baron of karaoke. He's not joking. Almost every night of the week, and when you're in doubt, the karaoke baron is either performing or singing along. He says it was karaoke that helped him get through cancer. My doctor's like, if anything, this is going to help heal you because mm. it's something that you love to do. It's music. Karaoke helped you get well. Yeah, I mean, it, it saved me. Welcome to the hotel. Good for living and a pretty good living besides. In 2017, the karaoke bar industry made some $435 million. And that's just in the United States. So you'd think that, back in Osaka, Japan, Daisuke Inoue, inventor of karaoke, would be rolling in royalties. Not so. Turns out, Inoue never took out a patent. No, I have no regrets. If I had patented karaoke, it never would have taken off the way it did. He never really did it for the money. You know, we wanted people to have that enjoyment of singing their favorite songs. And his contribution to the music world hasn't gone unsung. A while back, he was recognized with a Harvard University Ig Nobel Prize. It's sort of a parody of a real Nobel Prize. For inventing karaoke. And it brought Inoue to America to see firsthand how his invention got the world to sing. I want to teach the world to sing. You see, 